Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome back to another video, to another episode of Unplugged TV Australia. This time for um, no particular reason. Actually, I need to tell you something about the charging situation here. Um, have a look at this. Um, 6 amp, 6 hours and 7.5 kilowatt hours. I am under the impression... Oh, no. Um, when I check my charging history here especially the one um, the second one here the second one here goes almost to eight kilowatt hours that was a full charge from 20 27 percent state of charge when I plugged it in and it has charged almost eight kilowatt hours into the battery I must say I had to unplug the car in the morning because the charge was not even finished it charged longer than seven hours and eight kilowatt hours into the battery so I was saying, oh, that takes a lot of energy all of a sudden. What is going on? And I was thinking maybe it's increasing the state of health now. So the actual capacity is rising. But no, that was not the case. But there was no change at all. But surprisingly, for the last couple of days, the battery takes a lot more energy than before. Before that, it was close to 7 kilowatt hours only per charge 6.8 6.9 7.1 but now i've got constantly 7.5 and even more even probably close to 8 kilowatt hours i'm not sure if this is due to the temperature but in the morning it's it was fairly constant cool i would say around 15 degrees that's cool. Well, now we have about 24 in the morning. It is um, 7.30 now and we've got already 24 degrees. So I'm not sure what's going on here with this charging situation. Okay, I just, just, just disregard the first one. The first one was I, I plugged in uh, twice that day. But the second one here definitely close to 8 kilowatt hours. This is 7 and 7.5 this morning. So something obviously has changed. I'll keep an eye on it. It's so much easier to get access to the trailer now. Oh. I I didn't I didn't the, that was just the tow bar is uh, far higher than the actual trailer. Oh. Take the lights. They should be fine. It's, it's a well-maintained trailer. Ah, ha, ha, ha. We just talked about it and now I have lost 0 0.5 ampere hours again. Ah, battery conditions. Hey Gary, that's the little switch I mentioned in your comment of one of your videos. Minus 16 degree video you just made. Click this little switch, it um, get rid of all these other cards and just concentrates on the health. Talking about health, so this is for 500. 30, 40, 40 kilometers. So 500 kilometers and three weeks, half an ampere hour gone. Down to 73.2%. <laughs> okay, I promised we are recording the dog today as well. Did I promise that? Okay, that's a sticky note here. You need to. Don't want to see this again. Um, oh yeah, no, we already have started. So that's fine. 73 percent state of charge state of health holy oh we have to hurry up i promised him to be there at 8 11 minutes now comes the best part press the button and the gate closes amazing good technology so this morning this won't be an eco run because I'm a little bit um, time constrained. I've got several appointments which I will explain during the morning as we go there. It's this Friday off work, you know. 
it creates more work than actually at work. So I'm not sure what I prefer to stay at work or to do other work. <laughs> at least it's entertaining for you guys. And also you could witness another 0.5 ampere hours just gone down to 73% state of health, which is insane. Actually, it doesn't bother me that much anymore because we've got the promise, we've got the written commitment from Mitsubishi now that they will fix this whole situation. I'll talk to you about it uh, in the future. I've asked them for an official statement which I can publish on my YouTube channel and on forums. I haven't heard back. Um, this, this lady is on, on leave at the moment. She will be back um, mid of next week and hopefully we will have a well a official statement what we can publish. Yeah guys I can tell you so far we've got a very good solution. I'm 100% happy with that what they have offered and I think we are on a good way and I'm really glad it all worked out eventually and we didn't need to go to lawyers and starting a dirty story about the whole situation. It's already dirty enough but I think Mitsubishi is on a good way to get this all sorted and get uh, clean again. Easy, easy, easy. can easily make it. I've got still six minutes left. And the farm is just um, over there. Oopsie, I should. So, 24 degrees outside at um, 8 o'clock in the morning. A little bit of cloudy weather today, which is fine. And top temperatures up to 32 degrees. Oh, what has he got here? Good morning Rob, how are you? Just around the corner, uh, as yeah, always. Yeah. Here's my hay. 77% state of charge, still 24 degrees. And guys, I was watching Gary Reed's newest video this morning about the minus 16 degree PHEV test in Canada and he did some testing in low temperatures with the PHEV and still got 32 kilometers out of the battery. <laughs> Gary that's quite impressive I don't even get 30 kilometers here in summertime anymore with a 73% healthy or unhealthy battery. So good on you to get still 32 at minus 16. <laughs> and no, your 2018 model does not have battery heating. It only has the cooling system as all the other previous models. And the heating just came in with a 2019 model which has the larger battery and the larger petrol engine, the 2.4 liter petrol engine as well. There's no battery heating before that. So your battery may be really, uh, really cold in the morning. You can actually check this on your PHEV watchdog at the far leftmost screen. So swipe to the right all the way. And when you see the voltages and everything, there are the battery temperatures as well. I would be interested to see at minus 16 degrees how cold the battery actually is. But well, yeah, when I watched this video this morning, I was a little bit shocked that his battery is already down to 92-93% after only 14,000 kilometers. That is a brand new 2018 model. Ah, he's got it for a couple of months now. But it's already 7% down. And as he mentioned, of course, he doesn't realize any range loss so far and this is actually a quite common thing when you get the car and the battery degrades probably down to 80 percent 
85%, you don't feel really that the range drops in the same manner. And this is something we have discussed a couple of times in the forums now. And it seems like... I just need to turn, hang on, hang on, I need to turn. Can't make it with 1C anymore here. Uh, 25, 26, 30 kilowatts. 32. Yeah, anyway, so this is, this is a quite common thing people actually discover in their cars and we think the reason for that is the car of course loses range over time when the battery degrades when the battery health goes down and the capacity drops but over time you get used to the car you get you, you change your driving style most people actually do not everyone does but I would say yeah, not most people change their driving style and try to squeeze more EV kilometers out of the car. So the car loses capacity, loses health, loses range in the EV mode and the driver gets better. So for a while, for a while the driver compensates for this loss of range and capacity until a point where the driver cannot get any better. There's, there's no way to coast even further, to drive more efficiently than before, and to increase your driving, your driving efficiency anymore. There's, there's no room for the driver anymore. You're driving the same distances, the same roads, you've got the same elevation. You know how the car works, how it functions. But, and, and this, is, this is around 80-85% state of charge. The car has already lost about 15% of its capacity. So is the range come down, but the driver cannot get more efficient anymore. And then you see actual range loss while you're driving and you wonder, hmm, can't make it anymore even not in winter or in summertime. I'm driving as efficient as possible, but I can't make it anymore. The engine kicks in at... Oh, I need to press the button, huh? Let me in. Yeah, the engine will kick in just before you reach the your destination. Ah, oh, beautiful. <laughs> it's amazing. Look at this beauty. And closing the gate again. Wonderful. You can just pull through and press the button. That's that was a good investment. Yeah, so guys, that, that's what we think um, is actually happening during these um, efficiency loss of the car, efficiency gain by the driver. Until you get this um break point. What do you think? Okay, so we are at 55% state of charge now which gives me 15.3 um, ampere hours left. I need to recharge the car because I've got another appointment at 10 o'clock, which is in one and a half hours. Um, not far away from here. This is probably 15 kilometers there and back. But I will recharge the car, of course, as far as most, as high as possible. So I put it on the 15 amp charge and then we go off to this um, other customer. Amp. Plugging in. There we go. See at the bottom that's the power it takes at the moment. 1.5, 14.2 amps. 15 amp is the max setting here for this EVSE, which almost maxes out the internal charger which can probably go to 16 amp. Okay, uh, let's um, yeah get this done over there and um, then we have our next customer appointment. Maybe I can jump in the pool in between because I will be soaked after putting all this hay away.
So and here's where we store our hay. This is the old one, three and a half bales left. And this is the fresh one I just put in. This is our little shed. And then my wife picks up little slices of this hay um, two or three times a day and brings it to the horses and hides it in different places. So they've got something to do to find it. It's not at the same place every time. You know where they are. Ah, yeah. I can see Betty. Maybe they went for a swim. Yeah, we still got water in both dams. Amazing. Not much, but it's enough to get the horses refreshed. Okay. Talking about refreshments. I think I'm pretty done. So, Barry, it's time. This is cold! This is cold! Oh. 23. 23. It is cold! Ah, that was nice and refreshing. I probably should get changed and get ready for the next appointment now. Um, the car is still charging on 15 amp at the moment. I'm not sure how full it is, but we don't need a full charge anyway. It's only a few kilometers um, to the next customer appointment. <clears throat> you know what? I will show you this in the next video. It's already pretty long, so um, yeah, don't... Okay guys, so far then, thanks for watching, thanks for your support. This is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia. Signing off, you stay charged, and we will see us soon in the next video, which is actually right now. That's a bit weird now. Okay, anyway, okay, see you soon. <laughs>